Okay, we go to first half action of this 101 in Sussex quarterfinal of Pope John, and North 100 in strikes first here, watches Gretchen Haplia sends in the oh, shot. Trouble. Shannon Frick makes a save, but Janelle Fusco is there to knock home the rebound, and it's 1-0 North 100. And the third seeded North 100 in Lions make it 2-0 here on this Rachel Hughes breakaway as she fires in a rocket into the back of the cage with just under 10 minutes left in the first half. Okay, folks, watch this great flurry about Pope John. But North 100 and keeper Lindsay D'Alessandro is just magnificent with two tremendous saves, robbing Melanie O'Connor and Carolyn McKinley. And it stays 2-0 at the half. All right, time is ticking away on the second seed of Pope John Lions in regulation. But watch Felisa Wetzel convert this feed from Caroline McKinley, and it's a 2-1 game with just over four minutes left in regulation. And less than two minutes later, watch Melanie O'Connor of Pope John make a couple of great moves after the corner before Felicia Wetzel taps in her second goal of the game, and we head into overtime tied at two. And after two 10-minute overtimes and a suspension due to darkness, we come back to Pope John the next day. We head to penalty strokes, and Melanie O'Connor gets Pope John on the board with this stroke here. Now watch Pope John keeper Eliza Hanks make a kick save here to stop Christina's series of North Hunter. And now watch Marissa Rant the Pope John come through as she goes to the far post and the Lions take a 2-0 lead in strokes. Now Alicia Cowart gets ready to fire and she does as she mixes it up and goes high for the Pope John Lions third successful penalty stroke. And Eliza Hanks seals the deal here for Pope John with this great save as the Lions post a 3-2 comeback overtime win to advance to the Hunter and Warren Sussex semifinals. Well, we just all stuck together. I knew we were, were like a big, basically family, so, you know, we just stuck together and won. Definitely really good, because we were tied and it was in the dark and we always wanted to just get it over with and it was just felt really good. Pope John needed goalie Eliza Hanks to come through in penalty strokes and she certainly did. I just dove, I guess, because Coach Heather told me always to just dive out and not just stand there. So everyone I tried to dive. She's absolutely phenomenal. She's only a junior, so I'm really happy to get her back next year. Um, you know, inexperienced first year varsity. I don't think she's ever done a shoot up before, so she's definitely nervous. But um, we just kind of told her, you know, just go for it. Don't hesitate. It doesn't matter if it goes in. We got our strokers too, and then we can do the sudden victory one. Pope John was trailing most of the game, but Felicia Wetzel came up with two huge goals for Pope John. I knew Melanie was going to get. Uh, a ball in either one of the posts, so I just cut my stick down and I knew it was going to go in. Fantastic job because we we knew we had the opportunity. We had like 16 corners. We outshot them, double the shots, and just wasn't making it. And we're like, get on that post, get on that post, and she finally just, it clicked and she nailed it in every time, so it was great. This is Sue Blanchard's first year with the Lions and it couldn't have been a better one. I think going into it, we had no expectations of where we were going to be. Um, you know, knowing that they had a 500 season last year, I think these girls were hungry to make, you know, states and, you know, really show their talent. And they work great together. And I think they were very open to us as coaches coming in. And right now we're just clicking. We're good. 